Hey guys, welcome back to Clever Music. I'm Misty Kingma and I'm here at Warp Tour 2012. This is the Ventura stop. Talking to me right here with this lovely lime green hair is Matt Toka. Hello. How are you doing, Misty? Good, how are you? I'm oh, look. Fantastic. You remembered my name and everything. I, I did, yeah. Good job. I, you know what? I usually read the cliff notes in school and I'm, I'm proud because I have no. That means you're a fast learner. All. You'll just remember everything at the last second. Yeah, there we go. That's good. Explain to me the green hair. Um, my hair's green. I dyed it green about a year ago. St. Patrick's Day, I think. Last St. Patrick's Day, and it's that been explains green it ever since. Is it hard to maintain? Do you do that yourself? Yeah, you know it is kind of a pain in the ass. <laughs> Actually, after I started it, and then I it, figure. Yeah, now I'm kind of like <laughs> I'm stuck with it, but <laughs> I figure. Let's just roll with it. Let's roll with it. This is Warp Tour. We're rolling with it. Have you had any crazy moments so far, or noteworthy moments, maybe in Vegas on the tour that you want to share? Um, I lost 60 bucks on roulette in Vegas. What? That isn't really that crazy. Oh wait, no, you know what I did? I actually woke up in my hotel and I was missing a kidney in Vegas. So that did happen. Ouch! Oh, yeah. yeah, that was a bummer. All right, everyone, this kid needs a kidney. I need a kidney. He's only got one left. And I need someone to dye my hair because it is becoming a pain in the ass. Maybe let's shave your head. I could do that, right? Can we do it? I'll Can do, I do it? it for you? Do it right now. Okay. Do you have a razor? It's a fake invisible one. Okay, let's talk music. Forget about that. Let's do it. How do you describe your sound to someone that asks you that has never heard your stuff before? It is like an orgasm on your ears. Oh my gosh, what exactly does that sound like? It sounds like, well, we have guitars and, and drums and bass, and it's like band-oriented, mm -hmm. and I don't know, it's probably like pop punk kind of Because okay. I guess the, for, in, layman, in layman terms. All right, okay. I like those layman terms. I mean, everyone can understand those. Yeah. If we're gonna get unfancy with it. Keep it simple. Yeah, simple we'll keep it good. simple. So, what bands are you a fan of here on the Warp Tour? Falling in Reverse, The Used. Of course. <laughs> Dead Sarah, amazing. That's funny because The Used said that they love Dead Sarah as well. Yeah, they're really, really good. Yeah. Her voice is very hot. Like sexy hot? Like yeah, like sexy hot. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, hot is in like. Uh, Temperature? Yeah. Spicy? Yeah, like a sauna. Her, uh, her voice is like Cavatillo? a sauna. <laughs> it's like uh, jalapeno peppers. Yeah. Now, um, switching gears just a little bit, charities here on the Warp Tour, there's a lot of ch great charities that are on the tour, specifically Music Saves Lives, who are yeah. friends of ours. Do you think Love it's important them. as an artist to give back? Yeah, absolutely. And you have to. How involved are you in charity work? Uh, I'm working with Feed Our Children now. Again, Music Saves Lives, who I love. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, again, it's important. You have to give back. People support you along the way, help you out. Okay. You have to give back. It's just. And you're on a pedestal. You're given this, you know, platform. You have you have an opportunity to actually do something wonderful and influence kids in a positive way. So that's yeah. important. You have to take advantage of that. Yeah. What's the most important message that you hope to get across to your fans someday? It doesn't have to be right now. Like in the long run, what's the most important message to you? Follow your dreams or something else? You know, I grew up in a really dysfunctional household. And, and I'm thankful that I was able to kind of overcome a lot of that. And yeah. I get to do what I love, express myself, and have a lot of fun. And so my message would be, you know, kids that maybe are growing up in a, a home that it's kind of bumming them out, that, you know, that doesn't have to define them. They can be whoever they want to be, and they can be happy. You can and, overcome that, and you absolutely. you can overcome all the BS and, and still do whatever you want and find true happiness. Yeah, I love that. Thanks for sharing. You're welcome. <laughs> have so much fun on the rest of Warp Tour. The Ventura Stop is has only just begun for the tour. So have fun and thanks so much for talking to us. Misty, it was a pleasure. Let's hug it out. Let's hug it out. Hug it out. Thank you. Oh, I love it. You're so a much hugger. fun, Misty. All right, you guys, thanks for watching Clever Music. Stay tuned to Clever Music for more Warp Tour interviews. See you next time.